I was going to ask a question on the for the local council too. How important of an issue is it? You know, in that jurisdiction for the firm to know the judges and et cetera. Is, is that when a local council may take more of a visible role? Or is that a question yeah. for me? Yeah, yes. It's yeah, it, it, it's certainly territorial. Uh, certainly, if, for instance, if you're in uh, southern Texas, yeah. uh, you're going to want. You, I may want a national council outside of Texas to handle the case, but I'm going to want a local person who knows the judges inside and out uh, to be, I don't want necessarily Houston council or Dallas council if I'm down in Galveston. I want somebody who knows the Galveston area inside and out or East Texas if we have a patent uh, 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 litigation. It's not going to help me to have you know big city council from Texas in, in a number of those instances. So it does matter. It, it, it really is case by case and region by region, jurisdiction by jurisdiction. I, I totally agree. I had a, a funny story about Dallas um, and that right outside of there I had a, a national council and they, I ended up asking for a local council. And before we knew it, we were in mediation. He's like, my daddy played tennis with your daddy, and we went to the same school. And you know, it was just like this small little you know, fraternity of folks who knew each other for many years. And so it really adds a lot to the dialogue when you get someone there who talks a talk. As opposed to, you know, they would say, you brought this, you know, New York City lawyer down here to talk to me about my case. I mean, really, geographics matter. Um, they really do. And I think local counsel are really critical there. I, I like Marcus, also look at specialties um, to figure out who does the work that we need. And we may cross um, from that geographic footprint to make sure we have the right person in place. The only problem I found with some of this is that some of these jurisdictions it's kind of provincial and they want that local lawyer to be doing a lot of work. They want them to bill a certain amount of money and that's requiring us to kind of find a way to take it back from national council a little bit. You know, we've got to figure out what, what they can competently do. There are going to be certain depositions that are going to be heard. They, I've got a consul down in Puerto Rico that has to be by their custom and law very active, but he reads very, very slowly. So, <laughs> so I mean, just, uh, but it, you know, it does become a problem because you get, again, you go back to the business people who say you've got two lawyers on the same case. You know, you're spending. We can't run a business the way you run your law department. You know, so. Uh, but it is a, it's a necessity, and I think it. Uh, we need to have better interaction with our lead counsel. Figure out how we're going to handle this, how we're going to delegate this. It's, and I'm putting a project together just because of the, the red flags it's raised. I just I throw this out. It's very important for the people who want, we want to be our lead counsel to understand this is an emerging problem, and it will not be something that's easily dismissed by either my general counsel or business people if it becomes a continuing problem, which is something we have to work at and solve. 